This is question 11 from paper 1 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're given a straight line with this equation and asked to find its gradient. There are lots of different ways you can rearrange equations of straight lines. One of the most useful is to write it as y equals a number times x plus another number. And this number will tell you the gradient. And this number here will tell you the y-axis intercept. So we're going to try and get this equation rearranged into this form. So we're trying to isolate y on its own. So first move is to subtract 4x from both sides. Always do the same to both sides of an equation. So we'll take 4x away from the right-hand side. The 12 is still sitting there. We want to get rid of this 3 times. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So we'll divide both sides by 3. So 3 into 3y goes y. And we divide both of these terms by 3. So negative 4x gets divided by 3. And this plus 12 gets divided by 3. That will give us 4. So we now have it in the form y equals mx plus c. So we can say the gradient is negative 4 thirds. So that's the gradient of a line. Now let's look at the second part of the question. And this says find the coordinates of the point where this line crosses the x-axis. So, just a reminder that uh, x-axis, all points along the x-axis have y-coordinate equal to zero. So, if we look at the equation of the line, 4x plus 3y equals 12, and we're looking for the x-axis intercept, as it's called, then... The strategy is to set y equal to 0. So we'll have 4 lots of x plus 3 times 0 equals 12. Well, 3 zeros are just 0. 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. We'll get x equals 3. 4 threes are 12. So it says find the coordinates of the point where this line crosses the x-axis. Um, so coordinates, required coordinates, are 3 and, of course, y is 0. 3, 0. So this line crosses the x-axis at the point 3, 0.